Hi, my name is Mariah Garcia. I just moved to Los Angeles and my mission is to find the best taco spots with the coolest people. Welcome to Talk About It. Welcome to our second episode of Talk About It, and we have our guest Greg Alba from Hello. the Real Rejects. Yes, yes. Very impressive. Dude, it's very impressive. I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah. For those who don't know, the Real Rejects is a it's a YouTube channel, right? For critiquing film yeah, trailers a lot of it is and like film. film trailers and uh, talk about a lot of the other YouTube videos too. Yeah. Well, today we are at Revolutionario North African Tacos. North African Tacos. It's pretty special. Never had a North African taco. Well, yeah, the owner was saying that this is actually the only North African taqueria okay. ever. Really? Yeah, his recommendations, I'm just gonna try to go for it and say, um, let's do, what are you thinking? I'm thinking the smoked chicken, the beef barbacoa. And it's called Black Eyed Peas, but I think it has nothing to do with the band. No Fergie appearance. There's no Fergie. <laughs> I just got this mint tea. Where I got the passion fruit lemonade. Yeah. Named oh. after me. <laughs> you, I feel like, have some expertise in movies. Sure. Of course. I would consider myself a film buff. I'm my favorite film of all time is Matrix. Oh. Yeah. As much as that might sound like a kind of a, a douchey film answer, to me, it's the movie that has everything. Because of that movie, that's the reason why actors now, like, there used to be, like, action stars. Yeah. You know, like Stallone and Schwarzenegger and then Jackie Chan. Now, like, you get any actor and they just, they train them for three to six months. Right. Now they're an action star. Yeah. Do I'm you often rewatch movies like that? You, a lot of movies you can't just watch once and gather the whole thing from Yeah. Them. I hate when someone robs me of an experience. I was on my way to see the new Blade Runner movie and I was doing a live stream <laughs> and then someone just quickly dished out a spoiler. I felt robbed. <laughs> like that's the only way to describe yeah, it. Yeah, someone did that for me for Orange is the New Black. Oh really? Yeah. And you know what's worse about it? It was the person who spoiled it for me. I said, oh my God, why would you tell me that? And she said, because someone ruined it for me. So oh. now I'm, I'm like, oh. you yeah. evil that's person. Evil. Why evil. would you do that? <laughs> so we have two beef, one lamb. Thank two you. Two beef, one lamb. Two girls, one taco. We have our falafel, our beef barbacoa, chicken, and merguez. Let's see. Mm. Taco reaction. But you know what's perfect about this? Is I'm part Jewish, so I don't eat pork. But Muslims don't eat pork either, so I can eat anything that's here. What are you most excited to watch that's yet to come out? I saw the trailer for The Last Jedi, the new Star Wars movie. Yeah. And it looks like they're going to do something very different with this new Star Wars movie. Sci-fi is one of my favorite genres because that's where I feel like film has the opportunity to be the most expansive with imagination. Oh, yeah. That's the most intellectual sound all night, by the way. And I'm weirdly excited for the new Saw movie. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Did you like it? I loved it. I thought about possibly being the it clown if I can make it sexy for Halloween. Really? Do you know where you're going to be? I'm going to be the most hated character in all the Marvel Cinematic Universe. His name is Iron Fist. He is from the Defenders. Yeah, because no one's going to be him. Everyone hates that guy. And I what if everyone stand watches out. this and they're going to they're be you? They're going to be me. They're going to be me being Iron no. Fist for all right? <laughs> yeah, I like to go to Universal Horror Nights. That's like my favorite. Do you like that haunted stuff? Yeah, I love that haunted You can't do it? You get too scared? Yeah, I mean, why am I going to pay someone to scare me? Like, We're not paying. Person. No, you're, <laughs> you're going to an event. <laughs> They're getting paid to do it. You're not like sitting alone in a room. It's not, like, scare you. <laughs> you know, I'm not used to actually sitting across from people and eating. What are you? One of those weirdos who sits like right next to the girl they're dating at a booth. It's super Believe awkward. it or not, I tend to be there. No, guy. no, you're not. <laughs> are you? If the girl likes me enough, she thinks it's cute. I don't do it on, like on first date. <laughs> yeah. You do karaoke. I've done it once. I did it by myself too. Like I didn't go with any friends. You just went by yourself? <laughs> no, like I didn't show up to go do karaoke by myself. I went, there's this place in Arizona that I would like to eat soup and I would take, go eat soup like once a week on my own. I just, I don't know, I like my own dinner time sometimes. And they were playing karaoke one time and I was like, you know, I don't know anyone here. If it's bad, then no one's gonna judge me that I know. Yeah. So I just did it. 
It's kind of yeah. empowering to it do something. It is empowering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we did acting, right? Child acting, you said? It was child bit? acting, yeah. See, when I think of child acting, I think of like 10 years old. You're no, like, no, no, no. Yeah, you're like 15, right? Yeah, I was like 13 to 17. I didn't like it because it wasn't what I grew to understand acting as what it is now. When you're younger, they teach you very much how to be kind of robotic, kind of a product. I would go to like other actor parties, like parties with like other child actors. <laughs> child actors are yeah. the ones, they're like fruit punch. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm on a sugar high right yeah. now. <laughs> but eventually when I stepped away and like started growing up, and if I were to really get back into it strongly now, I'd yeah. probably be better because I'm more tuned myself. I read a book a few years ago called uh, No Acting, Please. I think you told me about this. Yeah. He said, um, it's not a stage problem, it's a life problem. So if you have a hard time expressing a certain emotion in life, it can be more challenging to do it in front of a camera on stage. Mm -hmm. So I started working on that, and now I'm like incredibly comfortable with crying. <laughs> like, it's, like, weird, it's a weird thing I'm really comfortable doing. And that book really did help change my life because it put it, it was a jumping, it was a catalyst for me to uh, develop myself as a human being and learn to express and be in touch with myself. What are you doing outside of Real Rejects? So cool. My main passion is writing. I've written like scripts before, but this time I'm like, you know, I've never written a novel. So I'm writing a novel right now. By the time it's done, if I love it, I'll put it out like for super cheap. This is my, my side passion that I, I really love doing. Good for you. Yeah. Okay, so beef barbacoa is favorite for both of us. Yes, ma'am. I would say second place for me is the chicken tacos. That's actually the exact order I put it yeah. in. I put a chicken, and then I would put this third, the sausage. Third? And potato. Okay, yeah, pretty good. I would recommend Revolutionary here on Jefferson Street. Yeah, we have to add our dollar bill here. So if everyone wants, I highly recommend check out Greg Alba's YouTube page, The Real Rejects. And that's our episode of Talk About It. We talk about it.